Mr. Beast is in trouble. Wait, no, 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 not, not that kind of trouble. This kind of trouble. This is Cristiano Ronaldo, arguably the most famous person in the world. Well, what does that have to do with Mr. Beast, you ask? Well, just a few days ago, Ronaldo started a YouTube channel and is on trajectory to taking Mr. Beast's spot as the largest creator on the platform. But JJ, didn't Cristiano Ronaldo start his channel like a few days ago? I mean, I get that he's famous, but he couldn't have gained that many subscribers. Holy cow. Before we get to how and will Cristiano Ronaldo pass Mr. Beast and subscribers, we first need some context. <gasps> Cristiano Ronaldo is a 39-year-old Portuguese soccer player who's widely known to be the best to ever play the sport. He's won 33 trophies in his career and has scored a record-breaking 898 senior career goals. And with all of this success comes a bit of fame. And when I say a bit, I mean a ton of fame. This dude literally has one of the largest and most diehard fan bases I have ever seen. This dude literally has over 100 million followers on Twitter. Oh yeah, you you think you think that's a lot? Wait till you see his 600 million followers on Instagram. That's like over a billion followers. And just recently, on the 21st of August 2024, Ronaldo started a YouTube channel. He launched the YouTube channel by posting 12 videos right off the bat. And let me just say that these videos did kinda well. By the way, how do you even get a gold play button before you post a video? Anyways, the channel immediately blew up. I'm talking this guy hit 100,000 subscribers in 22 minutes, a million subscribers in 90 minutes, and 10 million subscribers in 12 hours. This solidified Ronaldo's channel as the fastest growing channel to ever hit the platform. And at the time of recording this, Ronaldo is at around 51 million subscribers and over 250 million views. People have also started making memes about Ronaldo passing Mr. Beast as well. When Ronaldo passes Mr. Beast without doing <laughs> without doing anything. I'm the biggest and most influential YouTuber in the world. No one will ever be able to surpass me. Anyways, I think you get the point. But this does beg a huge question for us on YouTube. Will Cristiano Ronaldo, the most famous man on the planet, pass Mr. Beast and become the most subscribed YouTube channel in the world? Well, no and yes. Let me explain. You see, it all comes down to the difference between an influencer slash celebrity and a YouTuber. You see, people like Taylor Swift, Messi, Kylie Jenner are all famous people who have YouTube channels. And I could also put some very famous companies into that category as well, such as McDonald's, the NFL, Monster Energy, and Nike. Then on the complete other side of the spectrum, you have YouTubers, which are Ryan Trahan, Mark Rober, Jesser, ZHC, etc. Those guys are all YouTubers. And I've also seen a large company that can be put into this YouTuber category as well. And that company's Red Bull. Now you may be wondering what constitutes a channel to be put into the YouTuber category and why is it so important? Well, you can tell with the YouTuber classified channels, they're normally posting entertaining or educational videos with the intention of growing their channel. While the channels in the influencer category are posting videos with the intention of showing something to their existing audience that they've most likely built off of YouTube. For example, take a look at the Nike channel versus the Red Bull channel. If you take a closer look at the official Nike channel, although the videos do look motivational, they're all pretty much just Nike commercials. And the average viewer really wouldn't find this entertaining. It's more of a place where Nike can store their commercials and also occasionally make announcements, I guess. But on the other hand, you have a channel like Red Bull. They aren't on this platform to coast off of the fame that they've already created. They're here to make high quality videos that people of any age could find entertaining. Like, take a look at some of these videos. World's fastest camera drone versus F1 car. World's longest ever ski jump. F1 drivers race huge mega trucks. Like, these are YouTube videos that I would watch and are genuinely good videos. The consistency and view Views also reflect how good the videos are. Now you may be wondering why Taylor Swift isn't in the YouTuber section because she gets high views as well. Yes, but Taylor isn't here to grow a YouTube channel. Taylor's here to provide content to her already existing audience. She's an influencer. She's not a YouTuber. 
and even though she still gets tons of views on her videos, it's more so because of the sheer size of her fan base. She didn't grow this fan base because she was great at making YouTube videos. She grew the fan base because she was great at making music. But why is this such a big deal whenever it comes to the subscriber battle between Mr. Beast and Ronaldo? Well, although Ronaldo has over 600 million followers on Instagram and over 100 million on both Facebook and Twitter, all of those platforms are centered around the influencer, around the person person, not around the type of content that they're making. More often than not, the amount of followers you have is a direct correlation to the amount of people that follow you off platform. It doesn't really matter what type of content you post, it matters of who has more fans off platform more cases than not. He didn't grow to 600 million followers on Instagram because he was great at making Instagram reels. He grew to 600 million followers because he was the best soccer player in the world and people just kind of wanted to stay updated on what he had going on. YouTube isn't really like that though. YouTube is a very entertainment based platform. The people at the top of the YouTube game are the people that can make the most entertaining videos and are most likely people who have put 10 plus years into the craft, such as Mr. Beast and Mark Rober. And although Ronaldo has gained over 50 million subscribers within a week, that's mostly because of all the hype that's revolved around him creating a YouTube channel. He's also gained a ton of views on his videos videos and that's also revolving around hype. Once all the hype dies down, I'm guessing at around 70 to 100 million subscribers, Ronaldo's channel will most likely plateau like every other celebrity channel. But at the same time, we've never seen anyone this famous just pop into YouTube before, so I could be completely wrong and Ronaldo could become the first creator ever to hit half a billion subscribers. Who knows? But I personally don't think that he's gonna pass Mr. Beast. Even with the current controversies, Mr. Beast is still managing to pull in over 100 million views a video. And he's the smartest mind in the world when it comes to YouTube. But, there's a huge but. Although at this moment, Ronaldo looks like another celebrity joining the platform, he doesn't have to. You see, Red Bull's done something crazy by making content that you'd normally see YouTubers make, and they very well reap the rewards by creating a completely new audience on YouTube. It's something that, to the best of my knowledge, I've never actually seen before, and it's really cool. Now imagine a world where Ronaldo, instead of being the world's best soccer player, he's the world's best soccer YouTuber. And it's actually not that far-fetched. Ronaldo's actually stated in interviews before that he's wanted to act in a movie. Today, YouTube videos are essentially like the modern movie. I mean, if you really think about it, it actually makes sense. Soccer or football is actually the biggest niche in the world with billions of fans worldwide. Like, imagine the videos that Ronaldo can make. First person to score a goal on me gets one million dollars. I traded from a soccer ball to a house. Or I surprised my biggest fan. By the way, Ronaldo, if you like these ideas, you can DM me on Instagram at JJLikesTrees uh, if you're looking for a, consul a YouTube consultant. All jokes aside, though, it would actually be pretty cool to start seeing celebrities like Ronaldo take a more serious approach to YouTube. Not like the ideas that I said, but imagine if Ronaldo started doing, like, commentary videos on soccer. That would actually be a really good way for Ronaldo to get a better connection with his fan base. Or imagine if, like, Adam Sandler came onto YouTube and started making, like, comedy skit videos. Or if Elon Musk came on the platform and started making, like, tech review videos. I mean, he has been in an MKBHD video before. Or, like, if if Jeff Bezos started making finance content. I mean, the possibilities are endless, but at the end of the day, I might just be some random YouTuber yapping. So make sure that you subscribe because I want to become the first tree ever to get a silver play button. And also go follow my Instagram because I do post Bible-based content. Anyways, bye. Bro, there's a fly in my room. Bro, there is a fly in my room. There is a fly in